Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Japanese Megalo Cannon booster box. This booster box opening is part of my huge Japanese Pokemon card opening I'm currently doing on YouTube. I'm in the midst of opening 214 total packs. You'll find a link to that playlist in the description of this video. So this Megalo Cannon booster box I bought from Collector's Cash for $59.99. It is the Japanese equivalent to, to Plasma Blast. And there's only one Japanese equivalent to an English set, so it's a larger set this time. This one has 76 cards in the base set and then several secret rares to the set. So I'll open it up here. Give a quick 360 view before I do that. As you can see, it is a first edition box, BW9, featured around Genesect. Definitely some great cards in this box. There's a 360 view of it, and I'll open it up with my scissors. I've been having pretty good pulls out of all of the Japanese box that I've opened up so far. Halfway through with this box of the nine that I'll be opening up, ending with Wild Blaze. So 20 packs in one Japanese booster box, five cards per pack. And as you can see, here's all 20 packs. I'll show the artwork on one of them. Like I said, Genesect. Each pack has the same artwork on it. Here's what the back of the pack looks like. The way that I open them up is I just take a big stack of them like so, make sure the cards are down towards the bottom, and cut open the tops, very carefully not cutting any of the cards on the inside. I've actually cut a couple of cards, not in this series, but in a previous box opening that I did. So it does look like there's some type of promotional card on the back. Not exactly sure what that is for, but as you can see, that's what it looks like. I'll set that aside. Card trick is just like so. Like I said, 76 total cards in the base set. So several cards in here. First card is a Carablast, followed by Aeron. There's a Surskit, which is the first card in the set. Next up here is a Driftblim, and there is a Cradilly. That is just an uncommon. If you've been watching any of my other Japanese booster box openings, you'll know you get about 10 hollows, ultra rares, a spec cards total. So about one in every two packs should have at least a hollow card. So here's an Octillery. There is a Porygon 2. Next up here is Sock, followed by Caracosta. And first ultra rare out of this box, it is a very nice, this is probably my most wanted EX card out of this box, is a Verizon EX Full Art. A very cool looking card at that, and very valuable and very good in the TCG. So a great pull, only one pack into the box. And at the end of this video, I can do a summary of everything that I get, good pulls wise. So everything hollow or better. But that's a very good start. And you can get five different EX cards out of here. Verizon, Genesect, Jirachi, Dialga, and Palkia. So first card here is a Duosion. Next up here is Turtuga, followed by Porygon. There is a Team Plasma Trainer, which is Reversal Trigger. And another Team Plasma card. And this one is an S Cavalier. I often not get too excited when I see some darker colored cards in the pack that I'm opening up. Not always going to be an EX card. So I'll set this aside and move the potential rare card to the back of the pack. And this one starts off with a Druddygon. Next up here is a Musharna. Followed by a Remoraid. Next up, Team Plasma. And this is Axelgore. And the final card in this pack is a Trainer card, 
which is a cover fossil. Okay, moving on to the next pack. It'd be nice to get a Genesect EX full art out of here as well, but the experience I've had with Japanese booster boxes, it's hard to get more than one EX full art card. Okay, so this one starts off with a Tynamo. There's a Teddy Ursa. Next up here is Fracture. There's a Drift Blim. And finally, a Hollow card, first of the box, is a very nice Archaeops. Definitely a fan of a lot of silver on the background of the card. Not the biggest Archaeops fan in the world. I definitely prefer the older Pokemon more than the newer. So many new Pokemon out there, Archaeops is starting to get a little bit older, but big fan of Generation 1 and 2 Pokemon. Okay, first card in this pack is a Muna, followed by a Relicanth. Then there's a Houndour. There's a Trainer card, and this one is a Silver Mirror. And finally, a Rayoniclus. And that is just an uncommon. If you look at the bottom right hand corner on these Japanese cards, they have a letter there for the rarity. C for common, U for uncommon, R for rare. Didn't cut this pack open the best. There we go. Okay, set that aside. Always makes the video go a little bit slower and you have to set something aside. But the first card here is a Drifloon, followed by Machoke, followed by, we have a Lilip. Here's a Plasma Energy, so several sets in a row here that I've been opening have Plasma Energy. And the final card here is the second Holofill card in this box, which is a Haxorus. So two newer Pokemon as Holofoil cards. Not as big a fan of some of the Hollows as I was in Plasma Freeze and as in Boundaries Cross. So I was a big fan of some of those Hollow cards like Blastoise, Charizard, Ditto, Dragonite. Oh, just showed the cards there. I was starting to do the card trick before even doing anything. Before I was even I was starting to show the pack before I was doing the card trick. But this pack starts off with a Lapras. Now I have the pack straightened out. Followed by here, there is an Archon. There's Laron. Rayoniclus. And finally, it is an Ace Spec card. And this is a G Booster. So a pretty good Ace Spec card. And there's a couple of different Ace Spec cards. There's actually three. You can get Scoop Up Cyclone, G Scope, and G Booster. So I'm assuming I'll probably get two A-Spec cards out of this box. Just how it's went when there's been more than one A-Spec card in the box, or in the set. Okay, so make sure those are all straightened out so I can cut the packs without actually cutting any of the cards. Make sure to cut them a little bit better. I didn't cut the last bunch as well towards the end. Didn't cut this one as well either. There we go. Okay, so move the hopefully ultra rare to the back, and this one starts off with electric. There is a snow runt, followed by Chadot. There's a Caracosta, and finally a trainer card, and that is Iris. So only four total, hollows, ultra rares, etc. Should be getting ten total, so definitely plenty more to go in this box opening. Okay, this pack starts off with a golet. Next up here is throw. There's a tropius. There's another iris trainer, and a hollow of this one is a Volcarona. So three hollow cards so far out of this box, and that one was a Team Plasma hollow. That's why it was blue in color instead of silver on the border of the card. Okay, this pack starts off with a Solosis. There is an Ursaring. This one is Snover. There's a 
Cradilly. And an ultra rare card. Hoping for Genesect would be the one I'm hoping for. And it looks like it could be or it could be. It is a very nice card. It is a Palkia EX. So similar colors to Genesect, but it was Palkia. Hoping to pull three out total. That is my second EX card, and that one is Palkia. Okay, next pack here. Okay, this pack starts off with Machop. Looks like he's having a lot of fun or running from someone. There is an Aboma Snow. Next up is Shelmet. There's a Fossil Trainer, and this one is a Plume Fossil. And the last card here is Agron. You would think that'd be a rare card, but it's an uncommon here. Next pack, Megalo Cannon. Okay. This pack starts off with Larvesta. There's a Muna, Remoraid, Trainer card, which is Caitlyn, and a Holofoil of a Golurk. So definitely all newer Pokemon for Hollow cards. Okay, on to the next pack. I'm really hoping to get a Verizon secret rare out of this set. It's actually UR rarity if you're looking at the Japanese rarity. That's really the one I'm hoping for. Doubt that I'll get it, but it'd be nice. Here we have a Teddy Ursa followed by a Relicanth. Next we have Archon, Team Plasma, S Cavalier, and finally Another hollow foil card, and this one is Electros. So that makes five hollow car hollow cards so far. One A spec and two EX cards. Say probably five or six packs left to go after this one. Okay, this one starts off with a Duosion. There's a Carablast. Followed by Lapras. There's a Team Plasma. This one is Glalie. And the final card is another Fossil. And this one is a Root Fossil Laleep. Okay, last pack here. And then I'll have to cut the remaining pack still. Okay, this pack starts off with Throw. There's a Snover, Shelmet, Masquerade, and an Azelf. I believe that's, that card is rare in the English set. Now I'll have to cut. There are a few remaining packs, and there are four total. Now there should be two more Hollows, A Spec cards, Ultra Rares, etc. So every other pack here that I'm going to open up should have something good in it. If this box is on par with all of the other boxes that I've opened up in this series. Okay, so first card here is Solosis. There's an Ursaring. Snover. Snow Runt. My mistake. There is a Trainer card. And this one is Reversal Trigger. And a Holofoil, so... I was correct there, and a very nice Houndoom. So a little bit older of Pokemon there. Like that card probably best of all. Now I have pulled out six Hollow cards, so one of these last three packs should have either an A spec card or an EX card. I would guess an A spec card, just because there are three in the set, but it'd be nice to get another EX card. So here is a Drifloon. Next up is Lilip. Here is a Fracture. Now we have a Uxie. Oh, there we go. Is this another Verizon right here? Did I pull both out of this box? Yes, I did. That's a great pull right there. Very happy with my pulls in this box. Third EX card. And again, I can summarize once I get done with these last two packs. Now that should be 10 total Hollows Ultra Rares A-Spec total. 
So I'm assuming neither of these last two packs will have any cards like that in there. So here is an Aboma Snow, followed by Porygon, one of my favorite Pokemon, especially in the base set. I like that card quite a bit. Now we have a Sock, Caitlyn Trainer, and another trainer, and this one is a Silver Bangle. Last pack here in this Megalo Cannon box, and we're officially more than halfway through the booster boxes in this huge Japanese Pokemon card opening series. Last pack here starts off with the first card in the set, which is Surskit. There's a Laron, followed by a Turtoluga, a Plasma Energy, and the last card. Yep, I was correct. It is a very nice, good way to end it with a Uxie card. So there you have it. This concludes me opening a Megalo Cannon Japanese booster box. To summarize, pulled out six holo cards, just like I've done in every other box out there, in this series at least. Some older, actually all new Pokemon, just Houndoom is the older holo. Then a pulled an Electros, followed by here, Golurk, and then Volcarona, Haxorus, and finally, an Archaeops. So there are all six holo cards that I pulled. Pulled one A spec card, which was G Booster, like the looks of this card quite a bit, and then pulled out three Ultra Rares, definitely. My favorite ultra rares out of any box com total. I pulled out a regular Verizon EX. Pulled out Palkia EX. And then my favorite card of the box, a Verizon EX full art card. So there you have it. There are all the cards that I pulled out out of my Megalo Cannon booster box. So thanks everyone for watching. Make sure before you go to check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog. Facebook and Twitter pages as well as a link to my huge Japanese Pokemon card opening series So thanks everyone for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you